are wanting to help make a difference for our children to live in the most moral society as possible. And so we reach out to television networks and companies just to let them know when we appreciate what they're doing or if we are offended by some of the advertising choices they are making or some of the television programs they're supporting, et cetera. The list goes on and on. But we are letting our voice be heard as a group. And you've got how many people? I know we're, we're, we're our goal is to have one million moms, yes. and we're, we're inching toward that. Every So how many do we have now? We have over 225,000 ladies. That have, been, that have willfully, intentionally signed up to get our, that they want to join this movement. That's exactly right, and some men. <laughs> and some <laughs> men. 225,000 yeah. women, Tim. I tell you what, that's an army. Yeah, and they're going to get to a million. It may take a couple, three more years, but they're going to get to a million, and mm. because there are there are there are a million moms and more out there. We just got to find them who care about the culture in which their children are being raised. Uh, they want to make a difference, and one million moms has has gotten a lot of successes over the last couple of years. And uh, I, I wanted people. So if you're a if you're a woman in particular, you, you men can subscribe but uh, we want moms and grandmoms uh, to to join this uh, movement one million moms.com go to the website one million moms.com and sign up yes it doesn't cost anything you're not going to be bombarded with advertisements or anything like that it's it's simply a website and uh, an e- e- email action alert system for a couple of times a week uh, maybe asking you to to join the other moms out there and grandmothers to make a difference on a particular issue. So that's what this is about. Uh, and again, uh, go to one million mobs.com one million mobs.com. Now, uh, Monica, I want you to talk about this situation with, uh, JC Penny. Uh, tell us what our listeners need to know about that story. Yes. Uh, JC Penny first uh, came to our attention when they named Ellen DeGeneres as her spokesperson, February the 1st, and we started keeping an eye on that company because uh, that caught our attention. She is extremely vocal. Um, She's an activist. She's a lesbian activist. She is, and so uh, then Mother's Day, uh, after contacting JCPenney about their spokesperson selection for a family company, Mother's Day ad had two women. It was uh, in print that they were partners in the Mother's Day ad with two children, Then they dug their heels in again after we contacted them about the Mother's Day ad and printed a Father's Day ad with two men, and it stated that you could have one or two dads. And it didn't mean stepdad. I mean, it meant a So they were taking a activist. J.C. Penney has decided we're going to side with the homosexuals on the culture war, and we're going to attack the traditional values, folks. I mean, they made a conscious decision to do that. They did, uh, deliberately, even after we contacted them, voiced our opinion. Right. They knew what they were doing. Exactly, mm-hmm. and they were wanting to be clit- politically correct right. and offending a huge majority of their customers mm-hmm. in the process of... My wife pl- called uh, uh, My wife called the local J.C. Penney yes. as a result of the One Million Miles. Wonderful. And uh, she talked to the lady. Who was uh you know uh, work work for the and, and you and keep in mind folks if you're going to call the local store mm. uh, these folks don't make the decisions That's right. okay these the, the corporate office makes the decisions I don't know where they're located New York or something Texas Texas anyway for J C Penney uh, but uh, if you want to call your local J C Penney and say listen I can't you know I can't buy from you as long as you're doing this you know that's right. it, that's, that's appropriate thing to do but this woman was saying, I agree with you. Yep. Yes. you know, she was agreeing with my wife. She was saying, I, I, I can't, I don't understand what my home corporate office is doing here, mm-hmm. putting two dads on a Father's Day advertisement. Uh, you yeah. know, but so Fred, go ahead. Here's what's really interesting. I remember when you launched the campaign, One Million Moms, Monica, Ellen DeGeneres publicly went on the attack against you. Yes. Mm-hmm. Portion of her show, I remember seeing the video. She went at mm-hmm. one million moms. Now, here's what's interesting. Monica, you talked about Mom's Day, Father's Day editions of their magazine. Mm-hmm. You tried to find an advertisement with Ellen DeGeneres in it right now for J.C. Penney. Try to find it. You can't find it? Not since April. She hasn't been in a commercial since April. Remember they made the big announcement, mm-hmm. though, that she was I know. Going, 
She's disappeared. She we is. were we were saying the other day, you know, there's that thing. Where's Waldo? <laughs> we're gonna. Where's that? Where's Ellen? Where's Ellen? And and the homosexual community is not. Why aren't they outraged that J.C. Penney apparently has now put her right. aside? Right. Right. This is this is amazing, and it's I, a credit to you, Monica, and one million moms. Yeah. You know they they kind of really dissed you and made fun of you, but look what's happening with J.C. Penney. Well. They're, uh, they're struggling financially. It's no secret. Mm -hmm. uh, stock prices have shown that in their sales three quarters in a row, dramatic, bigger, bigger losses than expected. And Christians and conservative families are voting with their pocketbooks. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, as conservatives, we're, we're kind of used to being made fun of occasionally by yeah. voicing our opinion. But uh, it just shows that they were trying to please a small well. percentage of people. Yeah, we, so we always argue, Fred and Monica, that for, to these companies, just stay neutral. Right. Okay? Don't get involved in the culture war. Uh, don't, don't choose. Uh, we're not asking you to choose our side. Just sell your shirts, all right? Just sell your belts and your pants and your shoes. That's right. Don't, don't uh, have ads at Mother's Day when you got two women. Uh, in there and uh, uh, father's day where you put two men in there as if some kids got two gay daddies. Yeah. I mean that you're, prom you're advocating, you're promoting, you're, you're pushing an agenda. So JC Penney decided we're going to push an agenda. Mm -hmm. We're not going to stay neutral. We're not, we're, we're going to push an agenda and evidently, Monica, they lost a lot of customers because of this. They have. Uh, we were asking them, like you said, just to remain neutral. That's what we want is just them to remain neutral. Right, right. And, uh, and I, I feel for the children that are in the ads because this is something that's been talked about right. um, in the media. And <clears throat> they're putting them in this spotlight that mm -hmm. they're being progressive in their advertising when they just need to be neutral, promote yeah. their products, like you said, customer service, brand yeah. names. And they have had family-friendly advertisement since July. Recently? Since July, we so monitored. We're, we're monitoring and keeping yes, up with Yes, the last them. three, so four months. So you think months. they regret this decision? They would never say publicly, but they've been hurt financially, right? They really have been hurt financially. Uh, we did not get an apology. We, we don't no. suspect we'll get one as no. far as conservative shoppers, right. but uh, I feel like they've learned their lesson, but it just may be too late. One million moms dot com. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Monica. Thank Mo you, Tim. Monica Cole with one million moms dot com uh, telling us about the situation with JC Penny. You can go there, one million moms dot com and um, sign up, follow them, be a part of the movement. Um, also, we have a Facebook page for today's for the today's issues program. So go to uh, our Facebook page for today's issues. We were going to post that story in the next few minutes, hopefully. And we're going to post the story about the voter fraud that we talked about earlier today with, uh, with Joseph Farah mm -hmm. that went on. Folks, I am, I'm leery. And I know, Fred, you're an old prove-it-to-me journalism guy, too. And so we're, we're leery, I think both of us, to uh, believe in Bigfoot. Mm -hmm. Okay? But... <laughs> When you got a, 